there from Nova Scotia. Welcome back to Colorful Creations. I do try to post twice a week on Sunday and Thursday. So if you like what you see and choose to subscribe, just hit that little bell so you'll get notified whenever I post a video so you don't miss it. So today I'm pouring on a vase. This is a commissioned vase. Um, so the colors are different than what I would normally pick myself. But I do like this because it gives me an opportunity to work with colors that I obviously normally wouldn't work with and usually it turns out awesome and then I kind of like open up that whole new door for myself. So um, I usually use a small art panel to let the paint drip on but I'm out of them. So I'm just going to use this bigger canvas I already have. It's 18 by 18 by 24 and this size doesn't have a support bar going through the middle so I can lay it directly on my spinner. Um, if it did have a bar, it wouldn't sit sturdy and I have to set a board on top of the camp, the, sorry, the top of the spinner. I like to use the spinner so that I can turn it as I pour so that I can make sure I get all the sides. I'm definitely not going to spin it. So I'll be pouring on this vase. Now I need to elevate it off the canvas, like I was saying. Um, I'm just going to grab, I never did find a cup that would fit this and I've been using these paint bottles taped together and it's been working for me so I just continue to do that. So I can just sit this like that and then the bottle will go over top of it and then the paint can just flow freely off and onto the canvas. All right, and then I can make a matching painting with the canvas. So the colors that they have chose, they wanted black gray, white, and a beige. Now they sent me a picture of the beige. I would have thought it was much different. I'm so glad they sent me a picture. I would have thought it was cream. So I mixed this up to match the picture. So you can see it. All right, so I'm not sure how much contrast we're gonna get with this and the white, but that's what they wanted, right? So let's move that out of the way for now. I'm just gonna show you, I'll just show you on a piece of paper towel. So this is this beige, I guess, cream, whatever, and can you, I feel like it's dark here somehow, but there's the white. Now, it's, like I said, I don't know how much this is going to do. So that's titanium white by Montmartre, and this beige color I mix with white and add a little gold to it. This is silver by Montmartre, and I add a little bit of black to it, so it's more of a gray. And then I have the black by Montmartre. So those are the colors I'll be using. I, I actually like the colors. I just hope that they all, hope there's some contrast and they all show up. I'm using my split cup. It has six slots, only four colors, so I'll have to use two of them twice, I think, or I'll think about that in a second. I usually need the whole thing and hold 16 ounces. So I usually need the whole thing to cover the vase and then an art panel. But this is a much bigger surface. But I do want them to be even. So I think I'm just going to do... I think I'm just going to do four and then maybe have to refill it. We'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill, squeeze these into here. Now I have a link to a video in my description of how I mix my paints. Um, if you want to watch that, it's there. Um, and I also have a video on how to finish these vases with resin. So you can check out that link too. So I'm just going to try this. And then if there's not enough, I'll just refill it. So I'm going to sit this on here. the camera so you can actually see it so make sure that's not gonna okay I think I'm good and let's see what happens here covered the vase. Hopefully all the colors show. I mean, I see them all now, but that changes a lot. It's tilted a little bit to help the paint run off the bottom. It's a lot there. Okay, 
Anyway, I'll just leave it sit, let it run for a while. All right, so this has stopped running. And I would take it out of the way, but I'm, I'm always nervous when it's commissioned. <laughs> And I don't see a lot of the beige left on this. Like, there's just hardly any. And I know that the beige was a color that they had really um, definitely wanted on there. So, as nice as I, I think it's turned out really nice, I'm going to pour over it. Because I want that beige to be there. I'm going to refill my, my cup. Kind of a shame because that's it is it is looking really good but there's just hardly any beige and to think the bit that is there like seeing some it's gonna that's gonna run off you're only gonna get what's it's gonna be mostly gone and just it's just black and white and gray which is kind of a shame but but I'm doing it show you what the top looks like. Now what I like to do is tilt it to get that to run a little bit. Now I usually pick a side that's like, you know, being overtaken by a certain color or I don't like it somehow or something. Um, I'm going to try to do this evenly because I think all these sides are even. So. I mean, don't tilt it so far that you end up dropping it, but just a bit. And that will change that kind of messed up looking design on the bottom. All right, and then you just let that pour over the side. All right, and then we'll just keep letting this sit. This will keep running for another few hours, really. Um, I'm gonna move it out of the way now and finish the canvas, because um, it stopped running a lot, but it will keep dripping and it'll keep running, and a lot of this will end up straightening out. Well, again, I don't think enough phase is showing, but I tried twice. I'm gonna move this. I have some of this beige left that I probably will never use, so I'm gonna use that. This is just to help the paint flow. I'll just put some white. Actually, it doesn't even really matter what paint, what I color I use here because it's just a it's gonna run off. This is just to help the other stuff flow better. So, just spread this a little bit. I think that's pretty happy with that. I am going to cover my, make sure my corners are good.
the corners are covered very well. I'm going to take this popsicle stick and just run it under the edges to get rid of the extra, extra paint. That'll just dry in the months. We don't need that. All right, now I'm gonna, I'll give it a torch. A drop of paint landed on there. Yeah. All right, you have a quick look here. This won't change much. It'll dry looking like this. The vase might change a little bit more. So I can leave this dry with the vase for a couple weeks and then I will put resin on it. So here we are, all finished, dried resin. It turned out really nice. I like how these colors landed. And the panel, oh not a panel, it's actually a, a canvas. A few pretty big painting, a resin on that as well. I'll show you these outside. They'll look much better. All right, this looks much better outside. You can really see, except that with all the resin, there's a glare, you can you can see me in there. <laughs> and you can see the pool and the reflection and everything, but this turned out really good. Um, I delivered it to my clients and they're really happy with it. They just think this is the most amazing thing ever. So that makes me happy. I'm glad I tried these colors. And I'll show you the vase in the sun. Um, my camera's not picking it up like I was hoping, but this is really sparkling. It looks really good. We'll set it here and let's get a, a good shot of it. So yeah, the, the resin really brings it out and it ha then it'll have that wet look forever. So I'll have this on my website, but it's not available, but um, I can do something the same colors. It'll turn out similar. Um, anything like that. So let me know what you think. Do you love it? Hate it? Do you like these colors? Let me know in the comments. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.